Hiya duck! So today I'm going to be playing with an airbrush. Not an air hairbrush. A airbrush. But not in a normal way. Because that would be boring. So I was sent this design. Uh, Camilla sent it me, one of our ambassadors, and she said, I can't figure out this nail. Why? How is it done? And we looked closer and it was actually a transfer. Oh, right, okay. And she was like, well, I'm sure you can figure out how to do it in gel polish. So, this is my experiment. For the background colour, now if you're doing this on a natural nail or if you're doing it on a nail enhancement, you want to put the base coat on first. But the purposes of this video, we don't need it because it's just going on a tip. Background colour, I'm going to use eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is an absolutely gorgeous, like, sage colour. Look at that, it's beautiful. I think, you know, if we're thinking winter, but then we are desperate for spring, this is the colour. I love the smell of eucalyptus. Mm. So we're going to do two coats of eucalyptus. in the lamp and in the lamp we're going to use some golden ribbons which is from one of our latest collections oh, it's a bit beautiful I'm going to decant these out onto my palette because I need a little bit more control I'm going to use hot cocoa. We definitely need a hot chocolate um, with the weather how it is at the minute. And then we've got cola, which is a darker chocolate colour. And then we've got campfire. This is also from the Winter Kisses collection. I'm going to use the brush that is called Miko Aqua. And that's going to be my brush so I can pick them up and pop them on. So I can be a bit more controlled. I could just splodge, splodge, splodge with the brush, but I want to be a little bit more controlled, especially around this cuticle area. So I'm going to pick up some of the gold ribbons. Oh, it's a beautiful palette, that. It is, isn't, isn't it? Kind of it's a good colour combo, I think. I have a little bit of this here. So this is cola. And a bit of hot coca. And campfire. And we'll just leave it like that. Yay! Yay, they are! Look, nail art! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> then you're going to take an airbrush. And we're going to control the air on the nail. We're going to like basically blow the nail off. Maybe not off, we're just going to blow it. And you can see, whoa, <laughs> this is so cool. So we don't want to blow it into the skin. We want to move it around. And you get this crazy kind of marble. It looks rusty and... Yeah, I like it. But you can see the build-up that you get. So this is why you need your lymph-free pad. And we're going to press and pull off the excess like that. And get a new one. Pull off the excess. You're kind of blotting those edges. And then with the same brush, I just want to open up some sections like this. So we see the colour of the eucalyptus coming through as well. Let's sweep this up. 
like this and then we can tap that just to smudge it up so that it looks like it just continues. Just going to add a tiny bit of campfire there. And I'm going to just take a little bit from here. That is cool. So let's pop that into the lamp. So it's not like your, it's not like a marble that we've done before. It's totally different that is. And I actually think that's probably easier. Yeah, it's a pretty good technique. You can yes. possibly use a pretty endless for that. Yeah. And what I want to do now is I want to do one in different colors, but this time, because I was thinking about it and I was thinking, I wonder if it had base coat underneath and then you put it on and then you hit it with the air, would it be any different? And that's what I want to try. Oh, a bit of, bit of gold leaf, a bit of metallic leaf. Mm, yeah, definitely. Oh, yes, that would look nice with it, wouldn't it? You know, more, more is more, always. Let's just break some pieces off. Let that stick to the sticky layer. Quite random. I like that. I like it a lot. Just gonna pat that down with the same brush as I used before, but it's clean. So it's nice and flat. Maybe one more. Maybe I like a bit. Oh look Luke, Luke, what the hell? I'll just shove that back in there. We'll pretend that didn't happen. It's just it's so fine, it just wants to go everywhere. It's very naughty. Oh yeah, that bit's just made me much happier. Make sure it's sitting nice and flat, because if it's not flat, it's gonna interfere with your top coat. Right, so we're gonna top coat now. Not with that one, because that one's empty. That's one I've just emptied. We did a video on that. You'll have to check it out. That is so cool. Yeah, that. Colour palette is gorgeous. Right, so we're going to do the one with the base coat now and we'll see how different it is. I'll get my colours out ready. So we're going to use Velvet, which is our deep purple. It's so beautiful. Reminds me of Cadbury's chocolate. Some reason. And plums. Mm, plums. Oh yes. Then we're going to use Lily. We're going to use some Alex. Gorgeous. Then we're going to use silver ribbons. Oh, I love it. Oh. <laughs> you scared <laughs> me then. You scared. Me. All right. <laughs> right. So. Next now, I'm going to use, I need to use one colour as the base colour actually. I'm going to use Alex as the base colour. Oh, do we do a bit? Not going to do a base colour. Not going to do a base colour. No, let's not. I'm just going to use base coat. Let's see what happens. So this is the case to make in base coat. Pull it nice and thin. You don't want like loads on. I'm even going to take off some of that nice and thin, really splay the brush so you're dragging excess away. And then with this one, I am going to try to blow it from the top to the bottom. You plan on leaving clear areas? Oh. Don't know. <laughs> All right. Don't know. Let's see what happens. We'll see what happens. I feel like it moves faster with the 
with the wet base coat. But I do feel like doing it from the top to bottom, you then just end up with one colour, don't you? Do you know what I mean? No, 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 there is a nice mix in there for me. I do like... You like that? Yeah. I am going to add a bit of that. And a bit of that. Have you seen that art technique where you um, basically just like wet your paper and then drop pigment, sprinkle pigment in there? Yeah. Oh yes, I like this bit. Oh yes. Oh, that's what I want. Yeah, that looks awesome. That, I'm going to take this bit off. Oh, if you use... I'm going to take that bit off. appropriate palette, you could get like a space nebula type thing going on. Oh my God, yeah. I like that. Yeah. I am really happy with that. Yeah. I just need to put something here though. Let me just smudge that in. Maybe give it a little. Mm, am I going to mess it up? No, I'm going to mess it up. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Oh, I love it. That looks so cool. Yeah, so I felt like it moved more and kind of went into pockets. Stretchy and stretchy. Yeah, and like made like more like holy pockets in it more. I like that. I think the base coat's the winner for me. I am just going to put a little bit of silver leaf on that one <laughs> because I think it'll just make it look wow. Right, let's get a bit of this on the sticky layer. Can you get like every colour of leaf? You can get lots of different colours. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to take that brush. So I've got the Miko Aqua one. And it's just that kind of paddled off so we can really push that in to that sticky layer. Oh, I absolutely love that. Right, let's top coat it. Now, I'd say you could probably do it with a straw, but it's probably unhygienic to do it with a straw. Unless you're doing it on yourself. Yeah. I am going to double top coat just to make it super smooth. And if you want to know where I got it from, Yes, it was from Amazon. Yes, I am addicted to Amazon. Because I don't like going out shopping. I like doing online shopping.
So because I'm going to double top coat, I'm going to buff it a little bit because then the top coat will stick really well because it's now going to be a porous layer. Wipe over with some cleanup solution so you get rid of all that dust. And we can top coat again. It reminds me of the kind of designs that you get with um, when you do resin artwork. Oh, yeah. Because when you do resin artwork, you blow the colours and the ink with a heat gun to move it around to make that kind of design. Oh. Yeah, and also the heat removes the bubbles oh. when you're doing resin. Yeah, learned that in lockdown. Uh, I'll buff this and do the same with this one. That's so cool. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's absolutely delicious. My favourite bit's this. Oh, I've got like an aquarelle thing going on there as well. Love it. Right, let's top coat the other one as well. I love them. Uh, uh, this is my fave. I love this. But yeah, I love that. Super cool. Not too difficult to do either, which I love. It's always good to do something that's really achievable. There you are, guys. We've had fun with the airbrush. <laughs> using it completely not what it's useful but there you are um i hope you've enjoyed this video don't forget to check us out on facebook and instagram um everything i've used today will be listed below and if you haven't already please subscribe it's totally free thank you i love you all Ta -da, look. <laughs>